Well, the strategic dialogue uh, is a multifaceted agreement um, between two sovereign countries. Um, the most obvious element of it is to do with the security element. Um, and the two countries need to agree the, on the level of commitment um, to the presence of the American troops the type of troops and the roles they play. Um, so the two countries have uh, had agreements for some time, but now they're under pressure to uh, renegotiate that and, uh, 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 and put a legal march towards with the clarity of the, the timeline uh, as well as the level of their presence. Uh, in this dialogue, um, many of the military and as well as um, state institutions from the Iraqi side are involved, foreign ministry, defense, national security, as well as the prime minister. And the Kurdistan region uh, is also represented um, officially and has been for the past few uh, rounds of negotiations. And they have their counterparts in the United States. Uh, what people don't pay attention to is the uh, other elements that are part of the package to do with education, health, infrastructure, business, with a whole um, raft of other uh, components that would be of mutual benefit where Iraq needs uh, such uh, help and attention, uh, funding as well. And the American side is prepared to go with its uh, private sector um, uh, investment. So it, it is in both sides' um, interest to uh, pay attention to the small details and agree a package that will be mutually rewarding. I think the analogy or the comparison between Afghanistan and the Iraq uh, is not realistic. The circumstances that led to the withdrawal are actually different, even though the uh, the history of the American presence in those two countries and a lot of similarities, but the decision uh, that was made to draw the mark Afghanistan, which started under the previous administration and continued with this one, uh, it, it, it's, it's very unique to Afghanistan and its uh, political and security dynamics. Whereas the Iraqi side, um, uh, the United States, is probably not looking at Iraq in the same way and their presence in Iraq is strategically more important and it has implications on their presence and influence in the region, the Middle East. And importantly, if they, uh, for some reason, felt um, that they had to withdraw from Iraq, uh, that, should, that will include Kurdistan and will include Syria as well. And then they will lose a lot of influence and uh, they will not be able to look after their interests uh, in the immediate and, sh and short term. Uh, not only in Iraq but beyond as well. So I think the administration is quite clear in its thinking that they uh, will not do what they've done in Afghanistan. And we all know that uh, it's a matter of time when uh, this weak government in Afghanistan may not withstand the Taliban's onslaught. Uh, and the United States may well look at this as a, uh, and it should not be just the United States problem now. Uh, it should be a collective one to keep government stable, to keep government functional. Uh, let's watch the space, but I do not believe that this will repeat itself in Iraq.